Good morning. Welcome again to the footy show. Yep, it's the second last one for the year. It's preliminary final day here in Geelong. Geelong and District Footy League, one of the big days of the year. Last week we saw the two finals played Saturday and Sunday. And on Saturday, Bell Post Hill moved through to their second grand final in two years. 132 points to Ferdinand Werribee Central, 64 with Jamie Pyle. Golly, Jamie Pyle, Shazam, kicking six goals. That wasn't funny the first time I did it. It wasn't funny this time either. And on Sunday, East Geelong continued their merry way, defeating Bannyburn out in straight sets in the finals. Andrew Hill, the gun from the East Geelong Footy Club, kicking three goals. And Aaron Eddy progressing through to 90-something, kicking six, but he won't make 100 this year because that was their last game for 2010. Hello, I'm Dick Philpott, and once again I've assembled some of the biggest names and brains in local football to eradicate, procrastinate, adjudicate the big preliminary final on this afternoon. Firstly, the man who is anxious to get out of the studio this morning because he's got his Bannockburn Tigers coming up against the North Geelong Magpies. Mel Smith, how you going, mate? Yeah, I'm going well, Dick, but uh, this morning? I'd actually like to be playing the North Geelong Magpies a week after, it's, but uh, we've got to... Play Karai. I know. Week. You're right. I got it wrong. The North Long Magpies actually progressed through to the grand that is, final. That is correct, mate. There's yes, nothing they, like uh, nothing like a bloke who knows what's going on around the footy. Pretty fine style too. <laughs> they won by about 10 goals. So a good win but there. But uh, no, looking forward to getting through this afternoon and, and then, uh, just uh, seeing how we go the following week. But we'll take uh, one step at a time, right. One step at a time. I'll get it right for next week. I'm so excited because I love preliminary final day. And speaking of excited, the man who needs absolutely no introduction, Jason Doherty. G'day, Jace. Hi, Bruce. How are you? Bruce, Bruce. Bruce McAvaney, stats guru up here. Bruce. You know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I don't know why I said North Geelong. Uh, just... You love them. I do love yeah, them. Yeah, you're right, right. You're right about yeah. that. No, it was a fantastic <laughs> weekend of footy last weekend, and I guess Belpo's still rightfully going through to another grand final, but she worry about Centrals, uh, worry about them on top all year, but finals footy's a different game, as we always say. And Benny got out in straight sets, eh? Unbelievable. We're going to have a couple of interviews. To start off, we've got Cal Lauper talking to the coach of the Werribee Central's footy club, David Leach. He's Cal. Dave, you were competitive for the first quarter and a half and looked like it was going to be a bit of a shootout, but in the end, a side just uh, maybe through just lack of fitness or just weren't prepared to work hard enough, just couldn't get in front on the scoreboard. Yeah, probably a bit of both, maybe, Cal. Um, yeah, oh, mate, they were great. They're a good football side. And, um, we thought we would go out and match up pretty well on them today and uh, we gave ourselves a red-hot tip the chance. And, um, and um, yeah, we've had a couple of boys come back and, um, yeah, fitness might take pay a little bit of a part, but if you don't play cannibal football on a um, uh, in a final, mate, you're not going to win a final. Yeah. And um, we played a cannibal football during parts of it uh, but didn't do it for the whole game. And so, therefore, um, you get beaten by a fair, fair margin. Uh, you obviously did a bit of homework. You had a couple of new tactics today. How do you think they went... I, particularly the Symes, the uh, Pilkington on Symes? Yeah, probably not as good as I thought it could have, um, to be honest with you. Like, um, I thought our matchups through the back line were OK. Um, I thought um, the back line done pretty well. Um, their inside 50s weren't any greater than ours, but their delivery inside 50 was greater than ours. Um, they, they used the ball a lot better than us, mate, and um, they were able to find that spare bloke, and we weren't accountable. Um, Pilko, Pilko, like, obviously that um, was something different that we tried. Um, we thought it worked to a certain extent, um, but, like, there's no doubt, and there's no rocket side. It's like NATO wasn't 100% and um, he needs probably a week um, with a, a couple of physio sessions to get him back up and um, it's been a long year. So we needed to use him forward. Um, if he was 100% I would have probably done the same thing early anyway. Um, so you've got to try things mate in the final. Yeah. And just finally how you go about training this week heading up to uh, the game against whoever wins tomorrow between Bannyburn and East. Will you just um, you know kill the players on Tuesday night or you give them a nice just ease them because of the fact that you got a few injuries? It's a nice 5k time trial or something, Cal. But um, yeah, no, we'll um, we'll um, we'll go into the week the same as we do each other week, mate. We we th we think we've we've put ourselves in a position to get a double chance because we 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 dead set deserve it, and um, we still have belief in each other. Um, we didn't have a great three quarters today or two and a half quarters, and um, we we're beaten by a better side. We weren't accountable enough, so we'll regroup on um, Tuesday. We'll have a good session. Um, we'll get back up and about on Thursday, and then we'll come back up here next Saturday uh, for a red hot dip to put ourselves in a grand final. Um, we've 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 put a new group together this year. Yeah, we've had our injuries, but there's no excuses. You need to win a final. And um, there's no doubt that we will have everything focused for the next Saturday. And equal time for the uh, side that's going through to their third grand final as in many years. I think I said two before, but no, their third grand final in a row. The coach of the Bell Post Hill Panthers, Brett Gurkey. Uh, Brett, Calabra. good win today, obviously. Uh, they were competitive early, but after half-time, you're very much in control and just slammed on the goals. Yeah, um, someone was saying that then. I'm not sure if it was... 
Maybe it was maybe looked at it like that, but um, it was a big third quarter, I reckon. They threw it at the notice and were one man down. Yeah. And as I just said before, maybe the scoreboard might have flattered us a bit because for, I reckon for two and a half, you know, three quarters, it was pretty pretty full on game. That was probably the toughest game we played in, in um, a couple of weeks, I suppose. So um, big bodies and they're pretty hard at it. So I think a few of our boys are a little bit sore, but as I said, I think the scoreboard might have flattered us a bit in the end. Yeah, the contested footy, obviously, especially for the first two quarters, they were going tip for tat every time you get a goal they'd get a goal and it turned it looked like it was going to be a big shootout yeah well we don't really don't want to get into a shootout i suppose and we sort of back our backs to to beat beat their opponents and our midfielders put enough pressure on them to help them out so um if it gets into a shootout i don't think it sort of suits us too much so yeah as i said we didn't really want to get into it but like you said they were probably beating us to the stoppages and uh center clearances for probably three quarters and um that's why they were able to probably stay in the game uh, what's the go with training for the obviously you're in a grand final so what are you going to do with training you know have just one session this week or just go normally or have a session on saturday how will you go about it yeah we'll probably have a session on saturday and um tuesday night we probably will do something different and maybe have a light session thursday and then train saturday and then back into normal training for the next week for the um, grand final All right. uh any injuries no, nothing. There was a few guys myself. I was cramping, and um, I think one of the two of the other blokes had a cramp as well. So, as I said, tough game like that. It's, it takes it out of you. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks very much, Brent. No worries. Thanks, guys. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> the big fellow had a bit of a snooze then. Steady morning. <laughs> it does that to me. Don't worry about it. I should have been watching the time clock then. But uh, fantastic interviews there by Kel Lather once again. Of course, Kel will be back again next Saturday morning with interviews from this afternoon's very exciting preliminary final. Now, a couple of quick announcements. Firstly, under-18s footy. The best and fairest award went to Brent McConaughey from the Inverley Hawks. So congratulations, Brent. What a fantastic effort indeed. And uh, the junior footy's been on and uh, going along very well. Went out to Lara last week, boys, and I saw uh, the North Geelong under-14s unfortunately getting beaten by um, Ocean Grove Colandina. I saw the Statesman only went as far as Keith Barclay Havel didn't know it went as far as Lara. Went out to Lara, <laughs> took, put the Melways out, <laughs> not the GPS, the GPS. Use, <laughs> wouldn't have a clue how to use those things. But uh, very quickly, they would, I guess uh, Belpo still will be pleased to go through, but Ruby Central's quickly, just a bit disappointing. We'll talk about this a little bit later on. Very disappointing. Yes. Um, <laughs> David Leach would be uh, at loggerheads, I suppose, this week, just trying to find a solution to how they're going to bounce yep. back Dick. It uh, was a very... Really ordinary performance after quarter time, and, yep. a, and a lot of blokes aren't done, I reckon. So it's going to be a great challenge for him to get him up and going. Indeed, we'll talk a bit about that in the next segment. We're going to take a short break when we come back. Dale's under 18s will have a cap off of all the games on last weekend. Then the last segment, we'll talk about all the games on, all the game on this afternoon. Back after this. <laughs> <laughs> 